So, you're not really sure what the differences between the methods are? Not a problem. If you're new at this, just know that you really shouldn't get hung up on which method is the best. 99% of the time, it really doesn't matter, and you probably won't be able to tell the difference anyway, but for those of you who really, really just have to know, I made this video just for you. So here we go. The difference between each engine is tiny, but if I had to really sum up the details, basically I'd say there are two groups. The first is a slightly more soft and artsy group, and the second is a bit more photorealistic and clear. This becomes especially apparent when you compare Group A to something like like DPM fast. The backgrounds of Group A usually look detailed and have environments, while the others look straight out of a photo shoot and are usually plain which puts more emphasis on the subject. But let's take a look at the soft artsy group first, which is made of DDIM, Euler, DPM2, HEUN, LMS, DPM Adaptive, and PLMS. Now like I said, the differences are tiny, but overall, here is what I noticed. If you pay close attention to the eyes, DPM Adaptive is the clearest and the sharpest. DDIM tends to be a little more softer, and Euler tends to blend the colors a little bit better. But it was also the only method that gave me funny arms. Otherwise, these seven methods are nearly identical. The second group is DPM Fast, DPM2, and Euler A. Now within this group, DPM2 and Euler A are extremely similar. But you can see the differences between the two if you pay close attention attention to the hair. You can tell that Euler A is more soft and DPM2 is more sharp. The final method is DPM fast and all you need to know about this method is it essentially is the YOLO method. It gives you the most variety and has a lot of flexibility with the faces. All of the other methods more or less you could tell the base model was Christina Hendricks. However with DPM fast it's quite common for the face to look like a completely different person. And again DPM fast tends to lean more towards simple backgrounds that bring out the subject. So to sum it up, if you if you want soft and artsy, I recommend DPM Adaptive for sharper images or DDIM if you want a bit softer blur. If you want more photorealistic and consistent images, either go with DPM2 for sharper or Euler A for softer. And if you just want something crazy to pop out, go with DPM Fast. So I hope that helps and as always, hope you have a fantastic day and I'll see you around.